Good evening. Welcome to Unity with Heaven. My name is Joseph and today I'm with Amy and Charmaine and Ian. And so today we have the amazing privilege to minister to a group of people from a church and I believe they're from Van der Bijl Park that, um, uh, that are part of Every Nation Church. And so we have the privilege to get your names and to sit here tonight and just minister the word of the Lord to you. Now, I want to just start to say, the moment I sit here and I start to praying and the per first person we're going to minister to is Lucky, I just see how the Lord says there's going to be breakthrough and revival coming to the church. And so you guys mustn't let up, make space. You know, when you uh, enlarge the 10 pigs, when you have bigger nets so that you can catch the fish, the Lord says there's many, many, many people in Van Abel Park area that are going to get saved because of the fire that the Lord is putting in that place. And I remember years ago, there was a Pensacola revival there uh, in Pensacola. I think they called it Brownsville revival. And I actually went there. And when I was there, you come in a foyer, people are there crying. Uh, I mean, people go to church, they don't even mean to cry or be touched by God, but they get touched in the parking lot. I mean, pa people drive in there. The first time at church, then the moment they start walking to the church, they already start crying, wanting to repent, wanting to give their lives to God. And I just felt that the Lord says, I'm pouring my fire out at that church, and that fire is going to uh, shine so brightly that people are going to get saved. Now there's a scripture that says that when the Son of God is lifted up, He will draw all men unto Himself. And I just felt that the Lord said, yes, you're going to advertise and you're going to do social media and you're going to tell your friends to come to church. But just because of the glory of God that's there, people's going to rush because they want to be, uh, they want to experience the supernatural power of God. And so I just felt that's what the Lord says he's going to release at the Van der Church. Okay, now uh, we're going to start, how it's going to work, um, uh, me and Amy and... So mine and Ian, each of us, we're just going to go down the list and we'll minister to you. If, if I get a word for the, the, the person that was prophesied just before me, I'll also add something and minister and each one of us will do the same thing. We'll just sit here. Also when we minister, we're going to specifically not only just release the information of the prophetic word, but we're going to open up our hearts and we're going to release a river of the anointing of God so that a change can be effected in your life. So I want to tell you, especially if you uh, are in a, in a position where you can minister to people, not don't only sit and listen to the prophetic word, but open up your spirit and draw and receive the anointing of God that is that's releasing on your life. You know, when Jesus went into the river to be baptized, you know, you would think, okay, he's going to get baptized. Everybody gets baptized. The moment he gets baptized, you know, Jesus is, is, is such a, uh, a good example of someone that, that understands how to draw on the power of God. So when he, he went in, he, he realized there's a mantle, a, a, a priestly mantle that the Lord is giving on him. And so as he went, went in then and the anointing of God came on him like a dove. The Lord said, this is my beloved son. And I believe that the Lord wants to do that to each one of you. And where you sit tonight, you can just already hear the Holy Spirit speaking to you. And he says to you, you are my beloved son. You are my beloved daughter. And I'm well pleased with you. And so therefore today I'm giving you a fresh anointing so that you can do great exploits for me. Okay, now Lucky, let's start with you. Uh, Lucky, I, I just see uh, how the Lord is opening up your mouth. It's, it's almost like Aaron said, I had stammering lips. I can't, when it's Moses, he said, I got st stammering lips. I can't speak. But the Lord put the, his words in his mouth and he also gave him an Aaron to help him. And I felt that the Lord says, Lucky, I'm going to use you in a mighty way. And I even see uh, a crusade uh, that the church hold and you are involved with it. And how people get healed, people get saved. And how you just so enjoy. And you know your name, Lucky. I feel that's a, a word, not that your mother only gave to you, but that's a name 
that the, the Lord is giving to you because you're going to be smiling, you're going to be full of joy, you're going to be bubbling over. God bless you, Lucky. Amen. God bless you, Lucky. God loves you. This next word is for Danielle. Danielle, the Lord loves you very much. The picture God showed me for you is how you have this assignment to like open up a tap. And you know, obviously when we, when we don't use a tap for a long time, first the water is not going to be clean. And I just felt to the Lord says, open up that tap. Don't be discouraged about the dirty water because I feel the Lord says there's a calling of sweet water sweet water is coming and the more the tap flows then the sweetness of the, the the water will become more clear and I just feel the Lord says I've given you an anointing to bring sweet water through areas where people thought it was impossible and then the next picture God showed me was how the Lord says activation I am activating you um, for miracles and healing I just feel God is really healing you in this season but also calling you to overflow with healing and then lastly I just feel how the Lord is really really um, nourishing you and strengthening you, spirit, soul, and body. I just feel the Lord is really uh, making you so healthy in every way. God loves you, Danielle. God bless you. Our next word is for Jurgens. Come on, Jurgens, when I prayed for you, I just heard how God said that you are a multiplier. I got reminded of that scripture where Jesus did the miracle of the two pieces of fish and the five loaves of bread where he fed like more than 5,000 men. And I just felt like how Jesus said that when there's a project or when there's something that finance is needed or something is needed, when you pray upon that, how God will allow you or how God will allow your multiplication anointing to manifest in that area or thing that you're praying about and then i also felt like how god showed me how you're like a when because you're a multiplier when you walk into a room when you when you're like joyful your joyfulness will multiply in that room but the yeah. same thing when you're like feeling sad or sorrowful or not in the best mood i feel like that will multiply as well so i feel like how god and um, is encouraging you to always be a good person uh, to, to multiply that what is good, that what is the anointing of God, the Spirit of God when you're in the area, when you're around it, surrounded by people. Be blessed. Amen. Tarek, thank you, Jurgen, for being here. Please write us a comment if you're going to be able to write a comment. Okay, the next word is for Marke. Marke, the Lord loves you and He cares a lot about you. I just saw a picture of a dead river and it, it feels like that is what people want in your life and what the enemy want in your life and I just see how you need to break from it where you need to cut off and say this is not my destiny I accept what the Lord has given me and then I just suddenly see how even though the water is not yet flowing I see new life I see flowers on the riverbed starting to grow and as you start to work in the garden there I see how the water comes again so if you feel that there's no flow just be patient just work through it just love and you will see how that love will come back, how that flowers will come back, how that excitement for life will come back. Be blessed. Hey, awesome. Uh, so Jurgens and Markai, uh, I really feel that the Lord says that you are a godly family, that they even start open over you and even your children. What was the... Kian and Stefan. Okay, sorry. Okay, so the, the oldest one is Stefan and the, and the smallest one is Kian. Yeah. I, I just see how, how both of your two children are growing up in the presence of God. And the Lord shows me Samuel, uh, who, when he was a young prophet, his mother took him to Eli and he was serving the Lord in the house of the Lord. And he was able to hear the voice of God. And the scripture actually says in those days, the, the voice of God wasn't there. But the Lord activated that young little boy that always helped Eli, uh, Eli to start to hear the voice of God. And then Israel had a prophet. And you know when Israel got a prophet, then stuff started to happen. They ended up with, with David and they ended up with Solomon and the wealth. And there was a wealth, a transfer of wealth, the blessing of God, the authority of God uh, was on that land. Uh, but it started with a young boy that grew up in the presence of God. And even... Uh, both your two children, uh, Stefan and Kian, I just felt that the Lord says there is a prophetic call upon their lives. They're going to hear the voice of God. They're going to grow up. They're going to be happy, uh, happy boys, uh, but they're going to be sensitive to the Holy Spirit. Yeah. So if I think about my own kids, um, um, my one child, her name is Kimberly. So when she was one and a half years old, 
uh, to two years old, I was praying for Shannon to be baptized in the Holy Spirit because Shannon was about three. And so now I'm praying for Shannon. You know, she's got a praying tongues right now. And then I'm seeing uh, Kimi, who is like just over one and a half. She's next to me. She's like praying in tongues. <laughs> and she's like, come on, Shannon. And she's praying in tongues. And, but, but Kimi can't pray English. Or uh, she can't talk any language really other than father. It's a, and, uh, the, a daddy, I think, is the only name she knows. I'm just joking. Anyway, uh, but, uh, and she could pray in tongues. And, and, uh, but it's because she grew up in the presence of God. And, you know, from young, I uh, taught them how to go through the gateway of first love into the presence of God, how to go into the realm of heaven and see angels and, and, and experience Jesus walking with them. And I just felt that the Lord wants to release that same anointing on, on those two children. God bless you. Amen. God bless you guys. Um, I just, I just want to say, Stefan, God has called you to be a builder of the kingdom of God. I just saw how the Lord is going to give you like tools and projects. And then Kian, um, the picture God showed me for you is like, just like how Jesus, when I think he was like around 12 years old and he was in the temple teaching already. And I just feel at such a young age, Holy Spirit's going to talk to you and you might, and he's calling you to be like a teacher at such a young age to teach the words of God. Um, God loves you both. This next word is for, um, um, Kuniso. Kuniso, God loves you so much and I just feel God has called you um, to really be um, to like mother the nations. I just feel the Lord is calling you to raise up people and to love them and I just felt how the, the Lord says I'm calling you to be like a parent to a lot of people and I am taking you to my father's heart, to the father's heart and then I, I just see how God is just is embracing you in this time and filling you up with his compassion um, and there was a lot of things that you went through that did harden your heart but the Lord says yes it did make you strong but I'm calling you back into my river to just feel my embrace and love and then the last thing I just feel how there's a lot of um people that you're going to mentor and it's going to be it's it's like it's like you are like hand in hand with these people like we're going this way and I, I just feel the Lord is really giving you a lot of wisdom of how to counsel and talk to people but it's not you it is the Holy Spirit through you God is just going to really use you as a beacon to a lot of people. God loves you. God bless you. Our next word is for Neo. Neo, what I saw for you, I saw how God like took like a bottle of anointing oil and he threw like that bottle of anointing oil all over you and I just felt like how it like activated you. It it started like a, you started to get like very anointed. Then I saw like how God showed me how he's making you like sprayer. You, you know like a sprayer when you open it the water comes out and it sprays like all over the place. So that's mm -hmm. how I feel like how you're anointing us as, as well. Your 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 the spirit inside of you, the gifts that God is giving you. How when you like when it's being opened like a sprayer, how it sprays like all over the place. Like everybody that comes in contact with you, how they get anointed as well. I feel like how God shows me like how He's like opening up your your eyes. I see like how you'll be you see you see, you'll see in the spiritual realm much more things that you haven't seen before. And I also see like how God opens your ears that you'll be able to hear His voice like much clearer, and you'll get more. Um, the clear instructions when yeah. God talk, talks to you and I just feel like how God shows me as well how your hands are like being activated as well that when you lay your hands on somebody that's sick how that anointing that God has placed inside of you to pray for people how that anointing will heal the people as well be blessed thank you Neo uh, the Lord loves you and the next word is for Ntabling Ntabling the Lord loves you and he cares a lot about you I just saw a picture of you dancing in the rain and I just see how you uh, how you experience the blessings of God in your life and how you just enjoy the presence of God and I just see how you some days you just want to stay there and I just feel how other people want to pull you out the Lord says focus on me focus on my instructions for your life because when you do that you'll be connected like a chain nobody will be able to remove move you from God and I just see how the Lord says our relationship is growing stronger and stronger and I really encourage you the more intimate time you can spend with the Lord, use it. You will see there's great things in your life. God has got a destiny for your life. He loves you and He cares a lot about you. Be blessed. Hey, Ntabalein, uh, God bless you. Okay, so Rashibi, uh, uh, there's a scripture in James chapter 5. It says there, if any one of you is sick, you can call the elders and they will 
um, come and pray for you, they'll anoint you, um, and if you have uh, committed sins, you'll be forgiven. And I just see how you lay your hands on the sick, you anoint people, and how the Lord just brings supernatural healings uh, through your life. I, I also felt that you are going through a little bit of a training, training system in your life. So it's like you learn the first thing, once you get the tick, now you learn the next thing and, 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 and it can feel monotonous and, it, and, and you can feel it's going too slow. But the Lord says, go through the process, go through that training that the Lord is giving to you. And, and even if it means that you have to be on a harsh task master and um, you have to surrender your life and it doesn't feel nice, don't give up. You know, sometimes we feel when we have a friendly boss, then that means um, God is for us. And then when we have a harsh boss, then uh, uh, obviously I'm at the wrong place. But sometimes what the Lord does, He gives us someone that's really full of wisdom, that, but it's going to be hard with us because we need that training so that we can be strengthened and that we can be like a boxer that can handle the punches and we can fight in the fight. And I just see that sometimes you're going through a hard time. The Lord says, don't give up. You're not at the wrong place. You're at the right place. You will overcome. God bless you. Amen. This next word is for Masejo. Masejo, God loves you very much. And the picture God showed me for you was how you have like this assignment and um, <laughs> and to to and, and it was like you were like making like shirts, like very fancy um, shirts um, that people would like maybe like wear to like awards and stuff. And then I saw the first few shirts. It was like you got the measurements wrong. This one sleeve was bigger than the other. And I and it was like very very discouraging because you really invested to get good material. And I just feel the Lord say is keep on going don't stop i'm going to supply to you and i just saw god is just bringing in more material for you to keep on going so i just feel the lord says that keep on doing good works that and it's going and you know this the scripture it says keep um, um, keep on doing good works let your light shine so other people can can glorify God and I just feel how what you do in your life the more you go at it and God is with you I just see that it's going to point to God in such miraculous ways God is calling you to let your to let your light shine and then lastly I just feel God is really going to bless your sleep I feel like there's been a lot of late nights um, because of work and I just feel the Lord is really going to um, bless you for when you sleep and when you do rest so when you wake up you will be um, you will be like revived and, and ready for the day. God loves you. God bless you. Our uh, next word is for Cabello. Ka Cabello, what I got for you, I just heard how God is saying that you are a servant. Mm -hmm. But I got also got like, you, you know, with Mary and Martha. So Martha always wanted to please everybody and she wanted to serve everybody and wanted to see that everybody is like got what they need. But what she lacked, she didn't go and sit by, sit by Jesus' feet like Mary did. Mary had the like an intimate relationship with Jesus. She she listened to Jesus. She, she sat with him and she became full. She became full of the knowledge and the spirit and everything that Jesus has got in store for her, for for you as well. But I feel like how God is saying it's fine to be some, sometimes be a Martha, but sometimes God says he wants you to be like a Mary as well. Come and sit by him because I feel like how, how God says that he wants to, to pour out his spirit into inside of you he wants to give you wisdom he wants to make you full he give, wants to give you revelations i just feel like how god is saying that he's got so much in store for you um i feel like how god shows me that that even though like how you're serving people sometimes you need to be served as well be blessed mm. thank you Rabello. 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 for being here the Lord bless you. The next word is for Mpo. Mpo, the Lord loves you and He cares a lot about you. I saw a picture of you trying to unlock a safe. Now the safe has got a, a combination lock that you have to open and some of them has got a combination with a, a lock, uh, with a key and a combination that you need to put in on the code. And I just feel how like you see uh, it's complicated. And the Lord says, I'm going to give you the combination to resolve the complications in your life. And I just see how the Lord says scriptures, when I give you a scripture and revelation, write it down, meditate upon it, work through it, uh, because it will be relevant for your circumstances. So when you read it, put it over your circumstances. Don't just think uh, it is history. No, the revelations will be uh, exactly what you need for your situation. Be blessed. Uh, so Daisha, uh, when I was praying for you, uh, the Lord showed me team leader, 
and uh, I saw a lot of worship flowing out of you. Uh, you're very soft and kind. Uh, there's anointing of healing on you uh, to counsel people and to minister to, to him. So I, uh, I feel you like a little bit of a, uh, they can use you almost all over the place at the church and that you got a servant's heart and that you, that the Lord can you, uh, use you in the youth, he can use you in the worship, he can use you uh, to run a team, to do communication. It's like lots of skills that you have. And so the Lord can use you. And as long as you stay in a position where you say, Lord, I surrender myself to you and to what you are doing, then the Lord is going to use you in a mighty, mighty way. So so I, I, I feel um, your crown is humility. Uh, and because you wear that crown of humility, uh, the Lord can give you favor and opportunity. God bless you. Amen. God bless you, Deja. God loves you. This next word is for Reuben. Uh, Reuben. God loves you very much. The picture God showed me for you is you are the apple of God's eye. God loves you. And then I saw a picture of how you went like rock climbing and um, I don't know what you call it. People that don't um, that do rock climbing without a rope. There's actually a specific name for that. But I just feel the Lord says, no, I am your rope. I am the one that holds you. And I just feel how the Lord is really... Um, he wants you to really before you like climb or do anything you like just check yourself okay am i properly tied um to the to the rope of god to um to hold me and i i just feel the lord is very important to make sure you're always geared up um, because god hasn't called you to go rock climbing without him without a rope he's always with you and then the next thing i saw how um God has given you a calling for business and ministry and I just feel how the Lord is really going to supply and open up a door because God has given you an anointing to be a giver um, um, like giving to people um, outreaches so I, I just I just feel the Lord has given you a calling for that but you need resources so I just feel the Lord is really giving wisdom for your business to grow that so that you can be a builder and a giver of the kingdom of God God bless you Robin. Our next word is for Michelle. Michelle, what I saw for you when I prayed for you, I saw like this massively big tree. I saw like this tree's root system is like very connected and developed big root system. So I feel like how you're very connected and rooted into God's word. Then I saw like how God showed me like your trees branching out. I saw like how you, how God is creating new branches for you. I feel like how God is expanding you. It's, it's, it's like growing you. But I also saw like how your tree is like growing like different kinds of gems. I saw like how it's growing like, like rubies and diamonds. How your tree is like very... Uh, a very well maintained tree it's like very wealthy tree and I, I God showed me how like how he's, how he's going to use your branches to go to other branches to go to, to connect to other people but God shows me in this tree how God is already providing for you everything that you need when you need finances for for reaching out and doing ministry at other other ministries or doing just doing different things. God shows me how he's like already providing for you everything that you need on this tree. And God shows me also as well because your your root system is like, like so very fully developed how God shows me that you'll, you'll be able to like accommodate like like birds sitting in the tree how you'll be able to accommodate other people or other other animals in your in your tree and i feel like how god shows me how you've got like this anointing to counsel people as well so you'll be able to like help many people because you are so connected and you are like so rooted in god's word be blessed thank you michelle uh be blessed the next one's for elida I hope I pronounce your name right. The Lord loves you and He cares a lot about you. I just saw a picture because of your circumstances, you grew strong. So even though it's difficult circumstances, and, and I think about, uh, was Rachel that went to fetch the water for the camel? I think she had to be a strong woman to take all of that, that uh, water for the camels. And in fact, that was a sign that um, the servant needed and that what he prayed for and I just feel even though you're in difficult circumstances it's not a negative thing it is it's making you stronger it is good I just see and I encourage you to carry on not to quit not to give up just to push through carry on I see the reward afterwards it's very great so just work at it I know sometimes it feels uh, that you want to quit but don't quit stay connected to the Lord he's your power he's your source he will look after you. Be blessed. Hey, uh, Musa, uh, I, I saw a, a tree that was blooming in the springtime 
and how you're going to produce so much fruit. And then also with your finances, I saw two income streams coming to you. And I felt that the Lord says, don't run after money. The Lord will supply to you. He will give you other income streams of how you get, can get money. But the Lord has connected you very intimately with this church and with this ministry. And this is where you're going to fulfill your vision. This is where you're going to grow. Where you're going to receive that reward that the Lord wants to use you for. And so that's your place where he has planted you. But you say, well, I'm here, but I don't earn enough money. How am I going to do it? I want to have a family. I want to do this and that. And I just felt that the Lord says, do not fear. He's going to supernaturally provide for you opportunities. And sometimes you're going to do a second job. And it's also fine because the Lord will provide for you and all your needs. God bless you. Amen. God bless you. God loves you. This next word is for Eremay. Eremay, oh. God... Hmm? No, you don't mind. Awesome. Eremay, God loves you very much. The picture God showed me for you was how you were like... Um, like this carpenter and you made like these beautiful countertops and tables and chairs but when the people came um, to into the house and they just they didn't even look at the table they just enjoyed the meal and um, and and it was it was wonderful and then they went back home and and it was like you didn't it didn't feel like oh didn't you notice I made this table and I just feel the Lord says I've seen the work that you have done in secret for me and my glory um, to um to, to not to not like prepare the food and stuff but to make provide a table for that feast and I just feel the Lord says I will reward you um, a double portion for for that faithfulness and I just feel there's a really an increase that God is going to bring and then lastly I just feel there's a lot of joy God wants to give you in this time God bless you uh, next word is for Edre. Uh, it's Edre. Uh, what I saw for you, God showed me how, like, He says He made you like a, a joy bringer. Amen. I see, like, how you're like sit, you're like laying in a bed and you're just like laughing and bubbling out of your 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 innermost being. I see, like, the river. The God has activated the river inside of you, but I feel like how that river is activated through joy. People around you, I feel like how when they're being sad or when they're sad or when it, fe when it feels like it's difficult, how when they see your face, they'll see the light of God. They'll see the, the light shining through you because of the joy that God has placed inside of you. I also see like how God shows me that your your lips are anointed. Um, I don't feel I don't know if it's anointed to sing or anointed to preach, but I just feel like how God is saying that your lips are anointed mm -hmm. and you'll, you'll preach my, my words and you, you'll bring gladness and joy to other people around you. Be blessed. Okay. Uh, Luandre, the Lord loves you and He cares a lot about you. Um, I just saw a picture of tremendous peace and calmness that you've got. Uh, sometimes it, it, it's a challenge uh, for you to work at it, but I just see how your anointing is going to be to have complete peace in the midst of chaos and that is the rest of God that you're going to enter and I see how the Lord's giving you access to that and how you a lot of time things can be rough around you but you stay focused you are calm and stay connected to the Lord that is one thing that you're going to work at and when you master that you will be able in every circumstance just to connect to the Lord and pray with Him and speak with the Lord and just enjoy the time with the Lord. Be blessed. Okay, uh, Luandre, uh, God bless you. Okay, so Lorraine, um, uh, I just see a massive intercession anointing upon your life. And so, you know, uh, in, in most ministries, the Lord is calling people up to give birth to the next move of God. And I feel that the Lord says, not only are you prophetic and that you can hear God's voice, but you can go like Elijah and you can go into that posture where you uh, give birth to the new move of God. Because Elijah, he was praying and he was praying earnestly with faith. And then they saw the cloud like the size of the hand. And then he said, okay, uh, go and warn, was it Ahab, uh, that, that the rain is coming. And in the same way, I just felt that the Lord says, that you're going to feel that revival that the Lord is going to bring to the congregation, that the Lord is going to bring into the city. You're going to feel it even as you intercede. And you're going to be like a mother that's going to give birth to it. And you're going to be like Elijah that say, there is massive rain coming, but you only see the cloud, but you can feel this is what God is about to do. God bless you. Amen. 
anyway, God bless you, Lauren. This next word is for Lawrence. Lawrence, um, God loves you very much. And the and I just feel God very, very clearly says, you are my beloved. Uh, I just really heard that very clearly. And then Lawrence, um, the next picture God showed me was you were, um, you had all these cards and you were writing all these thank you cards and it was like this big event happened and then you were like handing it out to people and and also it had like it had like also money in it as well and I, and I just felt how that you really speak into so many people's lives but also there's so much value in what you say so I just feel that that's that's what it, what it means and then and then lastly I saw how you were giving this um you gave like this tithe offering to God and you and you gave quite a lot and I just felt how the Lord was so um just like that lady with the coin um and I just how God was heart God's heart was so warm because you were so obedient and I just feel the Lord says because of your obedience I'm going to give you a portion it was like if I could describe it it was like this hot air balloon and then it was like going to open up and then um God's just like his favor and glory is going to pour upon you so it just that's that's very vivid but that's the picture God showed me God loves you Lawrence God bless you guys my next word is for Monique, Monique Vermeulen. Um, I just heard how God is saying open doors, how he's giving you open doors. I saw like with the open doors, how God shows me that he's already sending angels ahead and behind those open doors. I see like how God is saying favor is coming your way. I see how God shows me that he's like providing for you what you need. I feel like how God shows me that um, you need open doors for studies or something like that. Um, I just feel like how God, uh, uh, how God says that he gives you favor in the area of studies as well um handbooks or uh, textbooks or um just finances in in that case how I, how i feel like how god is giving that to you and then i also feel like how god is saying that he's renewing your mind he's refreshing your mind and he's taking away all anxiety and all stress be blessed uh Gideon, the lord loves you and he cares a lot about you i see br breaking forth bringing you a breakthrough uh, that's happening in your life and the labor that you're putting in is not in vain I just see how you're working hard and you are keeping at it you focused, which is a very good thing But I don't feel that it is in vain. It is definitely it's got its purpose And I just see how the Lord says your breakthrough is coming I see how you just break forth and it's like from darkness to light It's going to be a massive change in your life and I just see how the glory of God is going to shine on you And how you're just going to enjoy the presence of God how you're just going to enjoy uh, serving the Lord and I just see how the Lord is well pleased with you uh, because of the sacrifices that you've made uh, but also I see how you need to stand strong some days you need to make your declarations so that you stay focused in order to keep on going on be blessed hey, Gideon I really believe the Lord is strengthening you today and he's saying to you don't have to fear about uh, your future and about your finances uh, I just see how the Lord makes a path for you and I see a smaller stream and a bigger stream and how the two collide and how you just see the abundance of God flow all around you. Gideon, the Lord loves you very, very much. So next word is for Kai. Uh, so Kai, I, I've really felt that uh, a maturity that the Lord has given to you over many, many years and that like you're like a parent uh, and that you really have mantles to give. And I see so many people has laid hands on you and prayed for you over the years and even when you came uh, to the ministry that you received an amazing anointing of God where you are there but now I see that you are like one that lay hands on people you pray for people you encourage people and then in the process they receive again their anointing their mantle and so this is just like that that you know in, a, in, in the Bible in John he talks about the fathers uh, and, and I just felt that that parenting anointing of God is upon your life God bless you Amen. God loves you. God bless you. This next word is for Yeshuran. Yeshuran, God loves you very much. And I, I just feel how the Lord has really called you to be um, just like this forerunner um, and to run fast. And, and I, I just I just feel how, um, but, but sometimes um, 
you see these runners they're like I, I, I have a friend that um, and, and it's like every day he like basically he this is his routine he has a cup of coffee then he goes for his run so he goes to his favorite coffee shop enjoys it and then he like runs like far distances and I just saw how the Lord wants to give you like that new boost of the Holy Spirit and it's like he's he's giving you new oil for your oil lamp and he's calling you to shine a lot brighter because the previous oil it did work and it and it read and it you it helped you a lot for your previous ministry and and things in life but I just feel the Lord is really giving you new oil for this time um, God loves you and in and I just just want to encourage you um, to ask someone just to pray for you to get a refilling of the Holy Spirit because God really wants to fill, fill you up for the assignment that he has for you for 2025 God loves you God bless you our next word is for Benoit Creer. Um, I just felt like how God shows me that you're like a leader. Um, you've got this anointing to be a leader of like a group. I see like how God sends lots of people to you and you become like a the, like the leader or the manager or something of this group. Um, I see like how God shows me that you've got the anointing to activate other people. I see like how you uh, I see like how you're sitting like in like uh, like a cell group and you're like leading the cell group and you're like talking out of the word of God praying over people just declaring scriptures over circumstances over your house over other people over the ministry over businesses over your town I just see how God shows me that how you're doing that and when you're doing that how power are being released um, I see how God's anointing starts to flow from you, but it, uh, when it starts to flow from you, I see like how like other people are like intertwining with your anointing as well, how like it becomes like a big river. Um, and I, I just feel like how, how God shows me that great things is going to start from you. Be blessed. Okay, the next one is for Shona. The Lord loves you and cares a lot about you. The picture that I saw was of... Queen Esther, where she sat, number one, she made tremendous sacrifice, willing to put, lay down her life. Then I saw a, uh, her humbleness, her continued humbleness brought through this continual breakdown. I just saw a big, big change, and that's a picture that I saw for you, for you, is that sacrifice and then humbleness. Stay humble, because that is going to... A bring breakthrough in your life, tremendous breakthrough. I just see all of the accusations of the enemy just fall off because of humbleness. So stay focused and be blessed. Hey, awesome. Uh, thank you, Shama. Uh, what's it? Shona. Yeah, Shona. Sorry, Shona. Uh, so the next one is Lori Pullman. Okay, so Lori, this is what the Lord is saying to me. Is how you are very faithful and dependable. But the Lord says, I'm giving you a coaching anointing. And you're going to help to accelerate things. Now, you know what a coach do when they help people to run faster? they got like a little stopwatch. And then they run and they say, okay, let's try and see if we can do it five seconds or ten seconds faster. And then they time them. And I just felt that you're going to help that church to get stuff a little bit more aligned, a little bit more functioning, a little bit faster, a little bit more acceleration there. And, and, to, and also to coach people, to encourage people, that gifting of encouragement in you. Now, you know, sometimes what happens is, is people can get a little bit irritated and they uh, can, can push and that high dominant personality can rise up. Uh, but I felt that the Lord says He's going to help you in your maturity so that you always bring the peace and the encouragement instead of that dominant personality. So, but, but the Lord says you are His faithful servant and He's going to use you as a coach to speed things up. God bless you. Amen. This next word is for Teresa. Mm. Teresa, God loves you very much. And I just felt, it's so cheesy, but it's actually so, so true. God calls you His princess. And I just I just hear the word princess. Um, and I just saw how the Lord has placed this crown upon your head. And the Lord says for such a time as this, um, just like Esther. And I, I and and then the next picture God showed me, there are a lot of steps in your life and I feel like you're very much like, okay, this is the process, this is how we're going to do it, awesome. And I, and I feel that, but the Lord said, and, and it has worked for other people, those processes, but the Lord says, Teresa, you're not like the other, you're not like everyone else. There are some things in your life that you are just going to jump and just be there, but there's some other things in your life where it's going to be a little bit of a slower process. So I just feel the Lord says, I'm giving you wisdom, I'm giving you patience, but 
also giving you courage and those things that you get a lot faster you can you can you can come a lot faster to than other people just for that boldness to not doubt yourself and self and say shouldn't I've gone through this whole um, process so I, I just feel the Lord is really giving you a lot of love right now and wisdom um, Teresa God loves you very much and God has really called you to speak his peace and righteousness over his people God loves you God bless you thank you our next word is for Belia Bueta. Um, I just felt like when I prayed for you, how God showed me that you're a mother of the yes. ministry. How God showed me that you've got such a big heart and that you, you've always got room for somebody else. I see like how God shows me that you've got you've got the comfort anointing you've got like anointing to when somebody is sad to pray for them when they're sad just when somebody needs like a hug how you give them a hug how you're like the mother of everybody how you just like um give love to everybody but god shows me that sometimes because of that as well you can take other people's sadness or you can take other people's feelings how they feel you can take that upon yourself so god shows me how he gives you a refresh your your spirit how he's refreshing and rejuvenating you i see like how god shows me that how he's taking you to the throne room and when you go to the throne room how god just shows me how uh, he uh, anoints you as well he anoints you again and i just feel like how god is showing that his favor and his love for you is like growing every day and he's just like very proud of you be blessed amen Okay, thank you, Milia. Milia. The next word is for Helen. Helen, the Lord loves you and He cares a lot about you. I saw a picture of connection, tension, how you have the right connection with the right tension in order to connect and to convey. Uh, that is what's your, that's your function, that's your purpose. And I just see how all of the skills that you said that you've got uh, helps to, to, to get things done, to bring things to... Uh, from one place to another place. Now, just see how the Lord says, I'm giving you this anointing to see into the future, to see clearly what you need to do. Uh, then a lot of your planning that you're going to do is a lot of people going to ask you, but why do you want to do this now? And you're just going to say, don't worry, uh, we're just going to carry on with this. And then at the right time, people will be amazed about the breakthroughs that you achieve. Uh, but it's all because of the anointing of the Lord that is giving to you. Now, I just see how the Lord's going to give you clear ideas uh, like a light bulb that comes on in your head. Be blessed. Hello, Elian. God bless you. Okay, so Estelle. Uh, Estelle, I see that you naturally like to take responsibility. Uh, but the Lord just say, just wait a little bit and don't jump in, grab the next opportunity that comes. Just wait until you receive your assignment of the Lord. So the Lord showed me a chess set. Okay, now... I don't play that often chess, but I enjoy playing chess. And sometimes what you do is you have a strategy in mind. You don't move your queen the very first move. You wait for that very right move when the queen needs to go in now and do damage at the right time. So you set it up. You put, put all the protections in place. And then when it's time to move that queen, you go, who's it? And you put your queen on its spot and then suddenly they can't really do anything because you've protected all of that spaces around it. And I felt that the Lord says that you are like a very important piece in the, in the, the strategy of God. And so he's putting things in place so that if he, when he moves you, then that's going to be the right move. And you can take the responsibility and he can use you in the right spot. So sometimes... People jump the gun because they're so eager and zealous to work for God that they don't wait for that correct spot. And so I just felt that the Lord says, just have a little bit of patience and enjoy the maybe not doing as much as you would like to do because very soon you're going to do a lot more than you would like to do. So that's just what I see. God bless you. Amen. God bless you, Estelle. This next word is for Jackie. Jackie, I just feel that there's a lot of time miracles that God is doing right now. There's a part in the Bible where a God even stopped time during that war. And I, I just feel how the Lord, during that battle, and I just feel the Lord is just reminding you that time is in His hands. He's restoring time, but also showing you His perspective of time. Um, it took Jesus. Jesus started really 
started his ministry when he was 30 um, and then like for three years then he then he died and rose again three years and he changed the world completely and I just feel the Lord says I need you to give yourself more grace with time but uh, this is the time to move God loves you and I just feel there's a lot of there's a lot of things and miracles that are going to happen I, I just feel there's a list of things that you've been praying for and trusting God for and the Lord says I've given you those desires in your heart for a reason don't stop praying just like Paul and Silas were in that um, we're in the cell when they prayed not only did their chains break but all the people in the cells chain um, people all the prisoners that those doors just broke so I just feel the Lord says keep on praying keep on worshiping something is happening God bless you Jackie hey Jackie God bless you uh, so uh, family thank you for the opportunity that we could minister to you uh, I really feel that the Lord says this church is running in submission yes. under the leadership, the, the apostolic leadership, the eldership that the Lord has given to the church. And that's why the church is blessed. But I felt that the Lord is going to use this church as a forerunner for the glory of God. So the Lord is going to open up that portal for His glory and you're going to see healings and the anointing, the very presence of God in a church and the worship team. I just see how the Lord is going to give you new instruments. He's going to bring you good musicians that really love Jesus so that that uh, worship can go up to the next level. And that's going to be, it's almost as if the worship and the youth are the two portals through which the Lord is going to bring the glory of God into that church. So the Lord loves each one of you. So uh, go back, listen to your word and then listen to it again and then listen to it again and then write it down and then pray about it and then you're going to start hearing the Holy Spirit giving you instructions and things that you can do. Remember, the Word is just a door. This opens up but God wants to speak to you. So work a little bit with your Word. Uh, the Lord said, uh, uh, Paul, sorry, he said to Timothy, war with the Word that you've received. So you get that Word, get some scriptures that that, that come in line with what God is speaking to you and declare the word of God over your life. You're going to see breakthrough in your life. The Lord loves you very, very much. God bless.